us with this video camera. Be somewhat vulnerable. But, you know, I just look at it this way. Uh, the more family background Logan has to go on, the more he'll realize he really is supposed to be here and it's no accident he's here. And He won't have all these self-doubts that most of us human beings have that there is a purpose in life and a foundation that he's come from. And I think he's going to realize he's got a pretty darn good foundation in you two people. I hope he discovers what his purpose is early in life. He hopes his full energies to it. I never did ask you this question, Mom. <laughs> what is our purpose on Earth? I think I've already answered that. I feel like I'm somebody to be used by family and mostly the master on the channel. A channel. Purpose, to be a channel. Is it okay to enjoy life while you're oh, being it, used? Yes, and I do. <laughs> Indeed, I do. It's not a sin to be happy and enjoy life. No, in fact, it's a sin to be dreary and worry and all the rest of it. Yeah. It's very sinful to do that. And be stressed out is that sinful? But you have every right to occasionally have a blow up. <laughs> a mental break, nervous <laughs> breakdown. Right. I earned it. <laughs> I'm going to have it. No one can take it. it. Nobody can take it away from me. That's right. Well, I'm going to put this away in the time capsule now. Okay. And we'll, uh, we, we'll let you look at it, but, you know, I'm not going to... You will. not going to share it with the media and what have you. You won't see oh, it on CNN. That. I'm glad to get that. Okay. <laughs> We've got a friend who uh, recently died, Matt Clapp, at yeah. the hospital. of safety and claims and stuff like mm -hmm. that. First time he had me on the carpet to find out about a little woman, they dropped in physical therapy and damaged her arm. He scared me to death, but he turned out to be one of the nicest friends we ever had. And he died recently, mm -hmm. but she still has his cheery voice on the telephone when you call saying, hello there, this is Matt Clapp. Oh, I'll really? come to the phone right now, but if you leave your name and number, etc., I'll get back to you as soon as I can, which is a little startling at times. Because <laughs> you know he really <laughs> can't come to the he phone. He really can't come to the phone and never will, but it's nice to hear his cheerful voice still. <laughs> you <laughs> bad boy! <laughs> he doesn't. Oh, I do that too, but he still turns around and wants to bite me. He's a bad pussycat. <laughs> He's a bad actor. Well, did you ever have a chance to be a movie star, Mom? They were after you? Well, apparently they talked to my father about it one time, but no, sir. I don't think that's the kind of life I would enjoy or choose. Yeah. But I was on stage once. What was that? What What is? We that? opened the Carousel Theater with Blythe Spirit, and I was a ghost. Uh huh. Oh. You kind of look like a ghost right now. Oh, I do. I hope not. Well, you can see what I'm doing to you here. You realize. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm ghosting. Vaporizing me. Vaporizing you here. Uh. Hey, cat. Well, there, it would take literally volumes of video to uh, catch some of what you guys have got, have done in your lives, but this is a this is a, a hint. I think Logan will get a little bit of a hint of what his grandparents are like in 1989. <laughs> You remember that when we're doddering old people with our broken bones and things like that, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you guys aren't running and jogging in 20 years, he'll, he'll know that you did. Because we're going to go jog today. That's that's what's next. <gasps> we are. I want to go on the beach. Okay. And hike the beach and...